Hello everybody, my name is Brett, and today I have the light on because my eyes hurt from the last few episodes. My eyes are too long looking at a screen like that with this thing running. I got a slight migraine, but it's only on this half of my face. It's like, and then, <laughs> anyways, uh, back to it moves. Yeah, I had to leave my room. I have to. I had to leave that room behind, but how? Should I leap from the bed and hope that I can make it to the door? What if it's faster than me? Or should I slowly slip out from the top bunk, hoping not to disturb my uncanny bedfellow? Realizing that it had not strayed when I moved, trying to f find the crucifix, I began to have the strangest of thoughts. What kind of thoughts there, boy? I want to put my hat back on. Chapter 6, The Abyss! Okay. Do it. The Abyss! Superbius! I would love to see it. Save that shit! Mm. Saving Fire 6! Huh. Am I a fish? <gasps> I'm a little scuba boy. They call me Mr. Fish Boy. I'm a little fishy man. They call me Mr. Fishers. Where do I go from here? I'm in an abyss. Oh, I get it. Do I just go this way? Okay. We're not fishing around. <laughs> why? Why am I under the sea? Why am I submerged in water in a fish suit? This kid must have a very active imagination for this to be a place that he thought of. Oh. Especially since he can only move in like... Oh. It's for you. Can't get past that. Maybe I can. Do you do something? No, that was not the right button. Okay. Um... Gotta be like some secret to this, right? Okay, so I could pass through this one, but not the one below it. Or do I go in here? Uh, obviously you go in the mouth of the robo dick. Oh, is that my dad? Bye, dad. <laughs> drain water to remove the. Yes, drain that water so we can walk around on our little fish legs. Okay. Looks fun. Let's go. Going on this adventure. Oh, see, that makes my head hurt too. Everything makes my head hurt. Oh, there goes dad. Find it. Is dad the monster? I hope there's a jellyfish. Maybe I gotta get off on this level. Yeah. Uh, yeah, sure. Oh. Well, I'm not gonna be able to read through all this. Okay, I don't have the time. Interesting. Are the words that I used in my fish hole? Very interesting. Oh, it's an angler fish. Is that what they're called? Angler? Angle? Wait, did we drain the whole ocean? Because I'm pretty sure this isn't like... What? You're hopping into the mouth of something, boy. I don't really get what's happening here. 
Apparently, I just got eaten by Predator's mouth. Only the mouth, not the rest of it. Just the giant, and then the mouth. Back in my bed. Huh. What if I was asleep? It... It hadn't so much as breathed since I had woken up. Perhaps it was resting, believing that it had finally got me. That I was finally in its grasp. Or perhaps it was toying with me. After all, it had been doing so just just, just that for continuous nights, countless nights. And now with me underneath it, pinned against my mattress with <laughs> no mother to protect me, maybe it was holding off. Savoring its victory until the last possible moment, like a wild an animal <laughs> savoring its prey. I tried to be breathe as shallowly as possible. It's mis and mistering every once in a while of courage. I uh, mustering, mustering. I reached over slowly with my right hand, began to peel the blanket off me. We're gonna get to see it. What I found under those covers almost stopped my heart. I did not see it, but as my hand moved the blanket, it brushed against something. Something smooth and cold. His penis! <laughs> something which felt unmistakably like a, a grant hand. Okay. I held my breath in terror as I was sure it must not have known that I was awake. Nothing. It did not stir. It felt dead. After a few moments, I placed my hand carefully further down the blanket and felt the thin, poorly formed forearm. My confidence and almost my confidence and almost twisted sense of curiosity grew as I moved down further to a disproportionately large bicep muscle. The arm was outstretched, lying across my chest, with a hand reaching on my left shoulder as if it had grabbed me in my sleep. I realized that I would have to move this. Oh, Kendra, it is a bandage. If I even so much. Ah! For some reason, <laughs> the feeling of Thorin's rage. Ragged clothing on the shoulder. No, stop me in my tracks. Fear once again swelled my stomach and in my chest as I recalled my hand in disgust. Tut at the touch of the straggled, oily arm. Oh, that's gross. That's grody. <laughs> I could not bring myself to touch its face. Although I wondered, although I wondered to this very day, what it would have felt like. Dear God, it moved. <gasps> it moves. Chapter seven. I, I swore it was gonna end at chapter six. Okay. Yeah, I would love to save. No, don't save over save six. Okay. Oh, oh, look at me down there! Oh, look at that little guy. Look how tiny he is. Whoa. Well, welcome to Attack on Titan, people. <laughs> Ew! Oh, man. Was Jack guy here? It looks like he lost a few Sams. That's loud. Oh, go in. Oh, my God. Why are there so many eyes? 
Ah, uh, nope, not no 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 I think I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> wait, wait, does he have anything to say about that? Oh my god. I'm going up. Oh, hi. Okay. Let's go this way. No. Uh, I was gonna, I was gonna push him back anyways. I guess I'm going down. Well, how about back? I am having once chosen you to seek or return the crossroad. Decision. Or even if once you choose him wrongly, the choice cannot be unmade. Oh my god, it's Mr. Heads! Fuck off, Mr. Heads. You play beautifully. Can I go now? Ha <laughs> ha! Oh. Point of this. Can I climb these towers? It moved. It moved. It was subtle, but it, its grip on my shoulder and across my body strengthened. No tears came, but God, how I wanted to cry. As its hand and arm slowly coiled around me, my left leg brushed along a cold, a cold wall which my bed had laid against. Of all that happened to me in that room, this was the strangest. Hi. Um, I realized that it's clutching thing drew great delight from violating a young boy's bed. Ooh. <laughs> uh, it's not entirely on top of me. It was sticking out of the wall like a spider spring from a slip. Ooh. No. Okay, so suddenly it gripped and moved from a slow squeeze to tighten in. Sudden squeeze, uh, tightening the sphere, pulled. Really? Not right now. I'm recording, you can't. Are you just gonna stand there? You can't. I can't edit this out. Everything you say is gonna come up on the video. You can't. You have to wait like a minute for the video to end. I can't stop the recording. I can't pause the recording. It's just stuck like this. Why do you have to ruin everything? They just, they don't understand. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's it for this video. It's, it's, it's almost out of time. Yeah. Uh, well, my clothes as if it was frightened. Opportunity soon pass.